Today I'm going to demonstrate and show you my 1914 York Cornet. Uh, again, it was made in 1914. It's made by J.W. York and Sons. Uh, they started making band instruments in 1897 and they continued to make it under the J.W. York and Sons name up until 1971. Um, their horns were very good. Now at the time, uh, <clears throat> con horns were still number one on the hit parade. They made more than anybody else. Uh, their vowels were better. In theory, their horns were really good, probably for the most part better than the Yorks. However, uh, individual instruments can vary. You can get a good one and a bad one. Uh, especially in the old days when they were pretty much built by hand. Now, Kahn automated um, <clears throat> a lot more than other horn manufacturers. Uh, they started in 1885, um, and the, the Kahn individual, George Kahn, I think his name was, uh, he had gotten out of the Civil War as a soldier, and he was a real, real go-getter, so he managed to import a number of um, very good craftsmen from France and England and he started a company and his horns became very well known and they are indeed great horns. I have a number of examples but I think for the most part I love this 1914 York. The name of it is a York Improved Perfect. So uh, and they had those kind of interesting names. You usually found those names perfect, perfected. York also made a perfect tone, which was a little bigger. This is a very short wrap cornet, even though it has the same length of tubing that uh, trumpets and cornets have, about four and a half feet. It's uh, pretty compact, as you can see. Uh, one interesting thing about it is, um, now this particular horn plays in three keys. It plays in the key of C and to do that you pull this well, I can't pull it out right now but anyway there's a slide that goes from here to there that is removed and then this last piece is just put in there and that raises the pitch and it turns it into a key of C horn. Most cornets and uh, trumpets today or in the key of B flat. So this one can either be in the key of C, it can be in the key of B flat, and that's how it's set up more or less right now. To get it in the key of A, what you have is you kind of notice now, you see some lines on there. Let's see. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see a few little lines in there. Uh, that's on the first valve slide and you can't read the letters on it but when it's all the way in it's made in the it'll play in the key of C if this piece is removed if it's out to the first line it'll play in the key of B flat which is what I have and if you have it pull it out further to the uh, second line there's a little A on the line and then it'll be in the key of A now what I do though to have this tune, horn tuned correctly, uh, their tones were a little off back in the day. Uh, their B flat was not quite 466 as it is today. So uh, fortunately they, le they left enough room to get it to be able to tune in. Um, I have a couple old horns that you weren't able to put the slide in enough and what I had to have done is I had actually had to cut this have the slide cut back so over the years I've uh, put a few dollars into horns and uh, to me it's worth it um, I'm not sure if my wife thinks it's worth it but she probably goes along with it well she does go along with it but anyway um, I'll give you a little bit of demonstration and maybe then uh, tell you a little bit more about it um, so here we go and so on. 
Before cornets play sweeter, softer, and darker than a trumpet. Trumpet plays louder, livelier, and uh, that's what is in bands right now because that's what is desired. In the 50s, um, it was mostly cornets, but then uh, starting in the 60s and late 60s, uh, everything now is trumpets. So I have bought a lot of cornets because I like to play them and then I like to give them away to kids that need to horn and uh, you know it's good for them and it's good for me to get rid of them and I can buy more but anyway uh, I just love this horn like I said it's my favorite uh, one thing I, I did want to mention though over the years what happens is um, the brass becomes a little bit softer because it sits as when the horn is made the brass and the molecules or in a certain lattice cubic, cubic, cubic and um, the metal is hard over a period of time. The molecules migrate around, it becomes a little softer, and hence it has a darker, sweeter sound. Uh, at least that's the theory. So, um, but anyway, again, this was uh, 1914, and I have another one also. Uh, I like this one a little bit better for whatever reason. The valves on this thing are amazing uh, they're like almost like new you can kind of see how they look but they are they are very nice and the horns very nice obviously also um, so that's pretty much it uh, the thing I'm gonna do I'm not gonna let this slide do me in here there there we go you can see that's the piece that did go in there and I might have it upside down but anyway that just goes in there I probably do have it in upside down it only goes in one way of course I would put it in the wrong way and then this one hopefully I'll fit in if I have it correctly so there you have it so that's again removing that piece makes it uh, key of C so well, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And if not, uh, you wasted a little bit of your time. But, you know, time is time. Thanks. Bye.